last sentence we just heard is that the state is enforcing its own will upon the people and this is bad. Well, what we are saying is winning hearts and minds is another way to rephrase what you have just said and this is actually one of the main roles and responsibilities of the state due to the nature of the social contract which is that you want the people living in your society to be people that are actually supporting the society and that are actually leaning towards the society and this is only working if they are actually supportive of the society therefore the role of society should be to actually convince these people that they are good. Three main, uh, three main points uh, I, I'm going to look at. So, um, what is the main goal we have identified in the first speech? The main goal we have identified is, uh, in the first speech is that the lottery of birth should be reduced. What we are getting in these kind of Amish communities, for instance, in these isolated communities, is that actually the preference of, for instance, the family preference of some kind of social group is enforced upon a child that is not free to choose, and we want to actually reduce this inability to choose. We want to actually give them possibilities to break out of this. What will I tell you? First, I will look at what we do not propose and how uh, pretty much the first half of opposition falls. Secondly, we will look at the harms that actually are brought about by an indoctrination that makes people think that it is their own free choice, whereas it is not their free choice. And thirdly, I will look back at the role of the state, why actually, uh, uh, why actually it is a, 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 in the, uh, the duty of the state to actually maximize this kind of free choice. Before that, two points of rebuttal on the two main things that came from my, uh, my, my predecessor apart from this last sentence. Firstly, Brazilian natives. Uh, Ram Springer is bad because look at what happened to the Brazilian tribes 400 years ago, they got killed. But Ram Springer isn't some kind of like uh, Christian crusade to the Latin Americans, it is just like the individual going to like uh, think of extended Erasmus or foreign exchange, whatever. This doesn't, <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't really uh, include the mass killings of everyone who is around all of the native tribes, for instance. Uh, so they are saying that actually, yeah, the Brazilians, they are respecting the natives and therefore we should uh, because it is so arrogant. But we are saying if we have substantial reasons to believe that actually uh, uh, the, the, uh, the native tribes are better off uh, because uh, are better off to be integrated into society because, for instance, we cannot guarantee to them that uh, uh, actually uh, they, they might live a happier life because we cannot maybe uh, uh, know what kind of realities they are or because our reality is just so imposing upon their reality that we cannot grant them that we should uh, well, pretty much respect them. Then we are saying that we don't have to always follow the Brazilian example and this is one of the cases where what we are arguing for. We don't want actually uh, the Amish people to be the same as Brazilian natives. Second thing, and the main uh, main point of contribution that is brought forward by uh, by the extension speaker is about the differences in uh, well, for instance, isolated communities based on civil law, based on societal law. We do actually not see a differentiation between a punishment based on some kind of law that is written down and some kind of like social law such as excommunication. We think that those fulfill the same purpose. Both fulfill the same idea of punishing an individual to actually uh, refrain from doing whatever they wanted to do. And therefore we believe this distinction is very arbitrary because punishment can also happen in the Amish community as for instance has been pointed out. So what do we not want to reach mainly? We do not want to maximize happiness above all. We have heard about drugs, we have heard about slaves, we have heard about North Koreans. What opposition is... <laughs>
organization all their life, they have had this social pressure, they had not had the possibility to actually move out of their community, to actually get away from the dependency that has been placed upon their community. So what we have here is um, that due to this lack of information that we have identified as one of the main problems that is created by this lottery work, due to this lack of information, the individual is limited in its free expansion, in its free movement into, uh, uh, into a better life. Go. Why is the state more entitled than an individual to decide what it is that Great. I like this question because it has to accept that there are harms. So let's just accept that we win, uh, we win the clash on harms, that indoctrination is bad. Which leads me to the third one. Why is it actually the role of the state to step in here? Why is it actually the role of the state to maximize free choice instead of maximizing happiness? My partner has told you that one of the roles of the state and one of the roles of society in general is that you have, as an individual living in there, to grasp the greater aspects of the whole of the community and not of your individual sphere that you have somewhere. You cannot just say, okay, within this room I am the king and once I would go outside there is suddenly a totally different reality, however up in here I'm totally fine. Now, imagine that you are all entering here into my kingdom. Suddenly I have to grasp with these kind of realities. And it isn't that you can't have these kind of like uh, uh, outer aspects completely getting ignored and completely getting, uh, uh, getting moved away. So what we are having here is that the state is indeed the one that has to show to the people, okay, look, there are some kind of situations out there that will affect you, that do affect you, that do affect us because you are there and we have to care about you in some way. So what we are having is that the state's responsibility is to actually lead the people, to actually show them that uh, grasping with the total of society is much more than to just stay within your own cause. What have we shown? We have shown you that actually the state, uh, that if we want to reduce the lottery of work, uh, of birth. If we actually want to give the people the possibility to live greater lives, then it's not that we create little bubbles for them where they can live 